What's going on guys? My name is Chris, welcome back to another Minecraft video. I have some explaining to do. I'm not even gonna lie to you. So, <laughs> I made a video in this area after I came out of this portal over here and I fucking forgot where I put the audio file. I guess I deleted the audio to it because I recorded the audio in Audacity instead of through Fraps. So I created a video exploring this new place, like a 20, 25 minute video and then I basically had to scrap it because I have no fucking audio aside from the game audio itself and that's boring. So anyway, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to show you guys what I fucking did. So the direction that I was going in the last map or the last video that you saw was um, was balls basically. I, w I guess I was in the middle of an ocean biome and I read up that those can extend for anywhere between 25,000 blocks to up to 100,000 blocks in the game. So even in the nether that would take an eternity to travel. I mean, more, much more than I'm willing to do. So I, um, I gave up. I went back to my starting area, and I turned, um, I turned the other direction. I went left instead of right, like I was going. And I went there. I went that way for a while. I hit what seemed to be another ocean biome. I guess this is it over here, because it ain't nothing that I can see. And then I dug up a little bit and uh, dug my way out. And this shit appeared right here above the water. <laughs> when I when I came out so I put some blocks around it and then I noticed that there was land over here yonder and uh, I decided to b block build block my way over here just to get some semblance of um, is that a cave over there let's go take a look get some semblance of life going on out here I figured out that the obelisks I mean I'm sure all you guys know this but I figured out that the obelisks are treasure markers like I guess there's treasure directly beneath where the obelisk is or something like that However, you need to unlock the obelisk, and I'm not sure how to do that. Turtle! Turtle! And I'm not sure how to do that. Damn, you're a resilient little motherfucker, aren't you? Are you serious? I think I... I think I had to flip him to kill him, right? Oh, that was much easier said than done. So you guys can see I collected a lot of stuff. I made it... I made... Obviously, I made two chests here to store all this bullshit that I collected. Uh, let's see. I also collected a bunch of wood when I was out walking around. A lot of wood. I mean, because you could chop trees down with little to no effort now, which is... Although I do like that, it's still a little... <laughs> feels a little too easy sometimes. Let's cook some shit, too, while we're at it. I believe it's there. No. So let's cook some beef. Anyway, I figured I would go and try to find a cave or something in this video. I, w I took a look at industrial craft, which is the first thing I want to try to mess with. Man, there's so much stuff to do. It's an overwhelming amount of stuff to do. Like, I'm not gonna be able to. I'm not gonna be able to like sit there and look at recipes and stuff like that on video. I'm gonna have to just go around and collect a bunch of resources, and then do the crafting and stuff like that on camera where you guys can see it. Because I figure I'm gonna have to do a lot of um, a lot of exploring, a lot of spelunking, just to uh, break even with that shit. It's so much stuff. And then we have this volcano over here that serves no fucking purpose. Except to be big and ugly. And has a weird top too. It spouts out in the most awkward of ways. So. Yeah, sorry that this, oh, there's all this new shit. But I, to be fair, I did make a video. I just uh, balls it up. I guess. Let's see if I can make, let's see if I can cook that. No, it's just, just eat it as is. That's fucking weird. Alright, let's go to the left over here. Let's see what was over there. Okay, I can't climb. So anyway, yeah, Happy New Year, guys. I know I'm a few days late. But, um, I mean, I said Happy New Year in some other videos, but I figured I'd say it again. Hope your guys' New Year's going well. Mine certainly is. I'm still on college vacation. I'll be back. I'll be back in the mix soon enough. Fuck, I forgot there's sharks out here. I keep forgetting that. And I need to do something to make this a little more sexy. I can't have that as is. It looks weird. I guess I got to do like a tower out there. God. I try to build too much shit. I don't have enough. There's where I'm going. I, I bet you it's just some light distortion though. Just like that is. Now it looks like a legit cave. There we go. Finally get some action going. I got so much stuff I need to do. But to be honest with you, uh, looking at the page for Industrial Craft, looking at the wiki for that, you can see a lot of cool stuff. I guess the game is doing some some block spawning, some chunk spawning. 
You can see a lot of cool stuff, but I don't even fucking know where to start. It's just an overwhelming amount of um, things that I can do. It's really, I mean, it's shocking, really. I'm, I'm sort of kind of, um, they say, uh, there's a phrase I heard, uh, paralysis by analysis. And that's basically what I'm doing right now, because I can't even, I can't even imagine where to begin. I wonder if there's a how-to guide. Do you guys know anything about that? Let me know. Well, I might as well start collecting resources. I'm probably going to do a lot of, just a, a heads up, I'm probably going to do a lot of this stuff off camera too. Just collecting and collecting so I can do a lot of building for you guys on camera. Because I want to do all that cool stuff and have the resources to do it. But um, I'll try to save the, the big projects to constructing pipes and constructing systems of gadgets and thingamajigs. I'll try to save all that for the on-camera goodness, but cave exploring? Sure. Oh, tell me that wasn't tell me that wasn't just a tease. Oh, that looks to be ow. Oh my god. It was. What a cruel game. A cruel mistress she is. So I've also kind of sort of picked out a place that I want to call my home. I think I'm gonna have my stop doing this game. I think I'm gonna have my new home surrounded by forest. Beautiful, beautiful forestry. I've already kind of picked out a place. I'm going to have to go excavate the trees the fuck up out of there, though. They have overstayed their welcome. They just don't know it yet. I think it's actually over there that I'm planning on doing it. I'm going to have to dig for a while to get these trees out of here, though. Anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to collect resources. I'm going to try to find some sort of how-to or starter guide for... Industrial crap. I'm sure there's a get started thing on uh, YouTube somewhere. Pretty sure I can uh, take a look at that. God, this is the perfect place for wood. I'm never going to be short on wood. Not anymore, at least. In my other places, I remember, you know, I don't want to replant the trees. And it's, it's a combination of me being lazy and me being lazy. So, it's a fierce combination, both of those. I'm not going to be lacking wood. Wow, oh, that sounded weird. I'm not going to be short on... That also sounds dirty. I'm not going to need wooden blocks. There we go. Anytime soon. How many I've already collected? 47. Jesus. H. Christ. Sorry if that offends anybody, but I don't really care. Let me get back over here in my starting area. This video is going to be me walking around, doing nothing, and wasting 20 minutes of your time. I'm predicting it now. If that's the case, I'm sorry. I want to go to show you guys the top of this shitty ass volcano. You probably already saw it earlier in the video. Look at this weird shit. Doesn't that look awkward? That looks awkward as hell. So, I'm. I don't know if there's a use for this uh, cobble. I guess they call it cobblestone. I'm not sure if there's a use for it yet. If there is, I got plenty of it. Basalt cobblestone. I'm not sure if there's a use for it. I gotta. I gotta go take a look. I think this is part of the red power. Part of the red power mod, I believe. If so, well, I'm in luck because uh, these volcanoes seem to be pretty easy to come by. I was thinking over here. It looks like we have ourselves a little lake. Nice. What would you guys think of a snow place? I'm not sure that's a good idea. Can we make... No, I don't want to use a diamond pickaxe. Can we make... Okay, so we can make snow. Interesting. I'm gonna have. I would have to dig a lot, but it would come back, right? Oh, that's actually a real fucking pain in the ass. I don't know if that's a good idea. Am I? Is it really getting dark already? All right, we gotta go home and sleep. The one thing I don't like is now when I try to sleep, I have to um, literally take my armor off, which. I mean, you would you would really do that, of course, but it's really annoying. I don't want to do that. Fucking pain in the ass. So we got a big ocean over here. I could go explore that sometime. Although I'm sure I'll get lost. I have a map, but it's still kind of a pain. I don't want to do that. And the uh, the Nether is pretty uneventful. It's just a straight path to the left from the main base of operations that I established earlier. Look at that shit. Totally forgot about it. What a pain in the ass. 
All for realism, I guess. Then again, volcanoes don't have a source block of lava, so fuck realism. Hurry up, god damn. This got old real fast, I'm not gonna lie. I already removed my goddamn armor. There's no way to quick um, apply the armor or put the armor back on either, I don't think, so it's like double annoying. Uh, okay. Yeah, snow is a bad idea. I'm thinking about building my house on the ice, but we we all know that's a fucking idiotic idea. But then again, it's Minecraft. Who cares? You can have idiotic ideas. Oh, yeah. Enderman. Oh, you disappeared. What the fuck? Bro. Bro, let me kill you. Give me that pearl. God, you hit hard. And it still, it still occurs to me that I haven't fought the Ender Dragon, which most everybody's done now at this point. I don't know why I did that. How much wood do I have? 47. Okay, let's go start building a house. Uh, should be out of cobblestone, though. I'm thinking. No, we're going to do wood this time. Why not? I can think of a lot of reasons why not. It all involves it burning down horribly. But whatever. We'll go, we'll go straight here so I can take a straight shot from this as well. Because I want to build a straight track all the way. Now I'll probably do that with the speedy rail carts. Although I've heard I got to be real careful with those motherfuckers. Where's this tree? Get out of here, boy. Right, let's go over here and stake my claim. Another, we're going to go past that river. Or lake. Not really. It wouldn't really qualify as a river. More lava right next to it. Go figure. Whoa, is that tree burning down? That it is. Did that thing really spawn so low to the ground over there? Let's go take a look. Apparently, this is a volcano. This is a Minecraft volcano, guys. This. And wouldn't all this be like fucking flaming hot? Like, how could snow be on top of it? Oh well. Trying to trying to put logic into Minecraft is not a good thing. From maybe maybe about there. Want to get away from this stuff? This place looks nice. We'll call this home. Not time to excavate. Oh, guys, by the way, I played through the game uh, Dishonored. Yeah, I finally got the game Dishonored, which most of you... We're going to put this here for the place that I want to... Pretty sure it's not lined up, but anyway. So, yeah, Dishonored, that game is amazing. I picked it up maybe six days ago six or seven days ago and I quickly like beat the whole damn game because it's that good if you guys haven't played Dishonored yet good god get on that that game is unbelievable I would say I mean aside from maybe like Halo everything I've heard about Halo 4 is pretty amazing but Dishonored would definitely have my vote for at least a uh, nominee for a fucking game of the year it was pretty amazing so being the crazy gamer that I am I, I blazed that game like three times in a few days it was it was an unbelievable experience then I had to do it without killing people and had to do it without setting off alarms and stuff like that because like I said I'm kind of I'm kind of crazy when it comes to that shit I can't help myself I have a problem it really is a problem I know this I know this but can't be helped I'm powerless before it axes are gonna last forever with this new cut down a tree with just a swipe at the bottom bullshit you don't have to swipe at the bottom I can just hit the okay suppose I should wait a second that looks just absolutely beautiful over there 
It would be nice coming up um, to a mine track over here and then coming up to a castle right over there with a bunch of zebra out in my front yard. My front lawn with the zebra, the zebra can. That would be pretty awesome. Why am I still cutting down trees? I shouldn't do that. Whoops. I wanted to like put a marker, kind of a weird place of dirt, just so I know where I kind of wanted to come out. If I fuck you guys up, are you gonna are you gonna fuck me up in return? Or are you just gonna die? Well done. What do I not need? Sapling. Peace. Get off my dirt! Oh, you didn't give me anything. I guess. I guess that's my penance for murdering you in cold blood. Right here. This looks pretty epic. Not really. It looks like a fucking empty field. But this is where we're gonna stake claim. We're gonna we're gonna put our foot down here. Seems like a good area for spawns too. And God knows my last house for whatever reason, bad spawn area or something, because I didn't get much love in the uh, the nature department. Like as far as animals, that sounded really weird. I didn't get very many animals spawning in my place. Like, I couldn't get any feathers, I couldn't get anything, because no animals were around. What the fuck are you? You a goat? Cool. Alright. This grass is going to get really annoying. Shit, I gotta make a flat area. This is not good. I don't want it to be too big. If I if I get it if I want it bigger I can always expand it. But let's go ahead and start digging out the grass up here. I'm gonna have to go home too. It sucks. That's an obelisk, right? Yeah, I saw that one. Yeah, there it is. I saw that one last time when I came around here. Hmm. The more I go this way, the more something over there looks appealing. I would do it right here before I change my mind again. I'm an indecisive motherfucker. Okay, if I clear this out, this would be good. I'm gonna probably spend the rest of this fucking video digging. I'm gonna start building something so I'll have it for the next video for you guys, at least. So anyway, yeah, Dishonored, it's pretty amazing. I finally, um, also, I'm a little late to the party on this one, but I finally um, went ahead and played Bioshock. Bioshock 1, not 2, 1. And that's not a joke. I, I had never played the game before. Um, actually, I played it once, but it was like... Um, I played it for like an hour. 40 minutes or something like that. But I finally went ahead and beat it, beat it this time. That's also a pretty, pretty amazing game. It doesn't look like it has any replay value, though, which is slightly disappointing. Um, I guess it's not surprising because it's really not... The gameplay is great, but that game's not really about the gameplay. It's about the, the story more than anything, it seems. So, I also picked up Bioshock 2, so I'm going to get started on that. Probably after, while this video is running, I'm probably going to start playing that game, too. Because I want to get on to that before I lose my motivation. Because college is calling again, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be busy as fuck before I know it. Then again, this semester, I've actually set my schedule up to where I have um, class on only Tuesday, Thursday. So I have Monday, Wednesday, Friday off, and then I work Saturday and Sunday. At my part-time job, so it's actually going to be looking up regardless. Even though I think I'm going to be pretty busy, like Monday and Wednesday, getting uh, homework done for those other two classes. Can't do anything about it. Pretty soon I'll be back. I'll be back in the real working world again, and I'm not looking forward to that at all. That is not what I'm not what I'm about. Not that I'm lazy. I mean, I I don't think I'm a. I'm far from a lazy person in my opinion, but. Yeah, after you've been going to college again, especially because I came from the Navy and that was, I won't say backbreaking work, but it was quite, it got quite old at times and it was fairly physically demanding. So needless to say, I'm not in a big rush to get back to that, stuff like that at all. So I'll probably be doing something, then again, my Japanese is probably going to get a lot better because I'm going to be working with Japanese people directly. Probably in a place where they speak more Japanese than English, which I can't say with my current job right now. So it'll be good for me. It'll be difficult. I'm not looking forward to that uh, that little change right there. Because as much as I'm learning Japanese and enjoying it, I mean, I, I, I'm a native English speaker. It's, it's just you're out of your element. 
when uh, you're not fluent in a language and trying to work in that language. I don't have to tell you guys that. It's, pr it's pretty blatantly obvious, but... So it's going to be... Whoa! Game. You can't be doing that to me. So hopefully I'll remember to uh, record the... Or keep the audio around for this fucking file. I'm going to I'm gonna upload it right after this, after I render it anyway, so... I won't have time to fuck it away. Looks like I'll get the dirt digging done before the end of this video. That's something. Whoa! That would have been awesome if I, like, hit him with my shovel. <laughs> kind of like that Randy Johnson pitch that hit the bird, like, the one in a one in a quintillion shot or something like that. Basically what the odds were. Like, there's no fucking way. <laughs> so. So, um, if you guys, if any of you feel like offering some tips. Uh, oh, man, I'm going to get stranded out in the middle of the night. If any of you feel like offering some tips on industrial craft, what I can do to start with, that would be nice because, um, I know I have some materials I need to build and stuff like that, so this would be would be handy to get started um, ASAP. I should probably, you know what? I'm going to go back to my old videos and import uh, to, and spawn in the stuff that I have for Thalmcraft because that was bullshit that that stuff got erased, and I'm not gonna go dig up the resources to get it all again when I had it rightfully to begin with. Anyway, rent over. I'll, I'll probably have that stuff in the next video. I'll probably set it up over here. We're gonna get a base going. Although I should set up Thalmcraft a little bit further away just in case I get some of those uh, hostile worlds spawning in. What was that? I just saw smoke over there. Oh boy, I'm in trouble. Alright guys. I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna leave you with this. I don't want to make this video too long. But once again, hope your new year's going well. I'm not late. I, I put it in another video so you guys have seen it. Hopefully. If you watched it. Anyways, I'm out on that note. Peace, guys. I'll see you in the next one.